Still no word from Major Jorgen or Kalia. Everything within a kilometer of the spire has been locked down. No signal gets in or out of that zone. I warned you that Gemini frequency mission was dangerous. If they're alive, it won't be for much longer. The gravestone could take the enemy by surprise. Buy me enough time to get our people out of the spire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't throw the gravestone into the fire unless we know they're alive to rescue. Too much remains unknown, and the enemy has had time to prepare its defense. We cannot risk any rescue operation. I'll alert you the moment I hear anything, but until then, we're just wasting time here. We could all use a break to regroup. That includes you, Theron. I'm too tired to argue. Oh, almost forgot. Hilo Viz asked to see you, Commander. Wouldn't say why, but it sounded important. Commander, got a sec? What's on your mind? We're doing our best to keep the supply lines running, but most of the people I deal with aren't exactly philanthropists. We can't keep running this thing on goodwill and borrowed credits. You're saying we need a steady income? Or a really big slush fund. But look, I didn't just come here with complaints. I know a guy with a habit of showing up when someone's in need. He's reached out with an offer we can't really refuse, much as I might want to. You should meet him. So he's what? A loan shark? No, just a liar. And a cheat. And a thief. The only thing to trust about him is that he can do what he promises. Hear him out. Come on. Well, this has been an interesting diversion, but I think it's time to wrap things up. I call. Come on, Lana. Now? My fold. So soon? Must be quite a hand. Let's see it. But how? You discarded every chance you got and never locked a card the whole round. The odds are astronomical. You cheated. Yeah, even if I did, you sure the old boss of Sith intelligence wants to admit some shifty alien got the better of her? Wasted no time turning the card table into a graveyard. It's my preferred method of execution. Commander, the most untrustworthy scoundrel I know. Untrustworthy scoundrel, the commander. She never was big on formalities. Galt Renault, at your service. How is it you two know each other exactly? Oh, we go way back. I don't know. It seems like only yesterday that we first met. Hmm, <laughs> anyway, we really should get on to business. The Eternal Empire spent the last five years pillaging every world in the known galaxy. Now, how'd you like to turn all that plundering into a profit for you and yours? I'm listening. I happen to know where they're keeping all that ill-gotten gain. Better yet, I've got a surefire plan to steal it right out from under their noses. I just need the help of a few talented, tough customers to see it through. What's this generous offer going to cost me? Only your word for now, and an even split after the fact. 50-50 couldn't be more fair. Ever heard of the Gilded Star? I'll stop you there. You haven't. It's one of the Eternal Empire's most tightly guarded secrets. A floating treasury circling the depths of a massive gas giant. The ship and the buried treasure all wrapped up into one neat little package. Well, maybe not little. By my estimation, it's the greatest sum of wealth gathered in one place since the Hut Empire was a thing. So, you in? Attempt to cheat me, and you will regret it briefly. So the standard arrangement. When you're ready to get this show on the road, we'll be heading to Vanden to lay some groundwork. Looking forward to this, partner.
There she is, Vanden. Mind the ledges when you're walking around unless you fancy a death by scenic view. You haven't mentioned why we're here. Giant barge, full of money. Is this ringing any bells? It's out there somewhere, swimming below sight and scan range. Something about the magnetism here plays havoc with sensors and cheap fillings. Bottom line is, we'll never find the Gilded Star out there, which is all the more reason to get our preparations underway. Such as picking up the last member of our illustrious crew. How many people are we going to need? Half a dozen, give or take. This is the last one unaccounted for. Should be in a warehouse not far from the dockyards. I'll point out the place when I see it. So, this plan I mentioned? It's going to take the best identity forger this side of the galaxy to pull off. Problem is, he's been in hiding, specifically in that, for a long time. He probably won't be too thrilled to have visitors, especially not visitors who had his safe house shipped a few thousand parsecs unannounced. Be on your toes. So you kidnapped him? That's more of a change of address. is it? They always say retirement's a good time to travel. Why don't you come and check out the new scenery? Tiresias! You've got a lot of nerve showing your ugly mug to me again! Tiresias? Just a name I carried around for a while. No use to anybody now. I think you've got me confused for someone else, friend. Name's Galt Renault. Got a business proposition I think you'll want to hear about. You can't play dumb with me, Ty. I know that face better than you do. Mm. He's seen a lot of my work. I even made him a perfect duplicate. Better than perfect. My version didn't talk. I've had enough of helping that fraud fake his own death. This time, it's gonna stick. A little gift for your hospitality. You can mail or a child about anything. Can't roll with the punches. Mm, you perfectionist types never learn. There's no such thing as a sure thing. Why are we trying to recruit someone who wants to kill you? He's the one with the crotch! After I made that body double, he went to swindle half of Narshada in my name! Because Dretcher is literally the only one I trust to pull this off. It's taken everything I know to stay hidden in this little prison. Every time I start to think I can leave, someone snitches on my new identities. That's true. So maybe I encourage Dretcher's early retirement. 
This little box is cozier than a coffin and a better place to reflect on how stupid trying to blackmail me was. But hey, ancient history, am I right? I'm more than willing to forget about our past disagreements if you do one more job for me. Uh, I gotta help you again. Listen, Treacher, I don't know how much you know about life on the outside these days, but it's bad. If you want there to be something left to look forward to when you come out, I need your help. And if you think it's hard to live under the scanners now, just wait until the Eternal Empires fully stake their claim on the galaxy. Sit tight, dretch, and get reacquainted with the concept of hygiene. We've got one more stop to make before we get to the fun part. Punctual, gentlemen. Glad you could make it all this way. No trouble acquiring my little request, I take. <laughs> it's here. You got our money? Of course, Fred, but I'd be remiss if I didn't ask to see the goods first. I think you need to tell me more about this plan. We're getting to that part just as soon as we're finished here. You got our money? About that. I was really thinking we should renegotiate the price. You know, seeing as I don't need the whole missile. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might feel that way. Launch sequence initiated. Target acquired. Total atomic dispersal in T minus one minute. You, you son of a. Make it stop! Nah. I could have just killed them. Let's panache. T minus 55 seconds. Warhead primed. Suffering index set to maximum. You're gonna pay for this! Suckers. Abort sequence aborted. No stopping me now. Ah, what did she do to this thing? Come on, come on, it's not responding. Are there any circuits you could cut? Oh sure, dozens. Got any ideas which ones? Tampering detected. Emergency detonation in five seconds. Nice try, jerks. Now, I cannot tell if she did a terrible job rewiring this or too good a one. Three. Oh, so close. Two. I can't wait. One. <laughs> you should have seen... <sighs> Vet? I didn't... But I thought you were... <sighs> Fancy seeing you here. Oh, good, you know each other. Saves me the trouble. Did you get the warhead, or were you too busy practicing your lines? Yes, I got it, Grumpy Pants. Though, I guess those lizard brains will have figured out nothing's exploded by now. I'll see if I can't distract them. Time to make ourselves scarce. We'll see you back at the hideout. Toodles! If 
you're still wondering why you're here, it isn't to check out the Tabana gas bars. There's a stealth cruiser loaded with more precious metals than a hut's taste in art hiding down in the lower atmosphere, and it's about to come up for air. And while the Gilded Star is roosting at the Skyhook for its annual resupply, we're going to rob it blind. How do you even know about that? A little bird told us. I speak stool pigeon. Even if you do know where it's going to be, it's got a full military complement on board. And a vault that could survive the ship being reduced to atoms. Most people would consider it impregnable, but we aren't most people, are we, Senya? You do seem to know a lot about our target. Yes, well, I should. Overseeing the Gilded Star was among my duties when I still served Valkorion. Then you are privy to its operational protocols. I doubt they're still the same. You don't have to run the thing. Just get Scorpio to the ship's control center. There's no way we could infiltrate that far into the ship undetected. Oh, well, maybe, maybe not. But I'm pretty sure High Justice Valen can go wherever she pleases. You're going to have Senya pose as Valen. We've got the best identity doctor this side of the galaxy and as close to a genetic match as we're gonna get. I could never match Valen's gene sequence like that. Although, maybe simulating data corruption in her ID. And create enough doubt to bluff her way through. Dear old mom can manage that, right? Once Valen and her attache droid are on board, they head to the bridge, seize control of the ship, and allow the rest of us to do our parts. Like cracking the vault. It isn't controlled by the network, so I've got to get into the guts of the ship to reach the mechanism. I'll need your help. Meanwhile, Lana and Koth will bridge airlocks with a tanker transport I've secured for the goods. How are we going to carry an entire treasury's worth of loot out of the vault before anyone catches on? Oh, we won't be carrying anything out of the vault. Into, that's another story. Remember how Senya mentioned the vault could withstand everything outside being vaporized? The same applies to what we're setting off inside. The warhead. Exactly. I'll be pulling up the rear with a disintegration bomb. Once it's done its job, we pump the atmosphere into the waiting tanker and make our escape. This is so crazy, it just might work. Yeah, I prefer unconventional. Once that sucker explodes, the crew's going to notice. Everybody's just going to have to hightail it to the transport before they catch on. Now, since we've got less than a day before the Gilded Star rolls into ports, I'd suggest everybody get real familiar with their part. Sorry about the prank earlier. If I'd known you were here, or, you know, alive, I'd have held off. But I finally got him. I hope you'll be taking the task at hand more seriously. There doesn't seem to be room for error. Don't you worry about me. I'll be the best living lockpick you've ever seen. Still hard to believe you're really here. It's been, what, five years since we went after your old boss? Did you get conked on the head real good? Amnesia, maybe? Locked in a block of carbonite, with nothing but my dreams to pass the time. That's, uh, pretty bad. But better than dead, right? Were the dreams good, at least? Lots of cowering masses and Imperials marching? That's my best guess. I watched you all die, and Drum and Cass burn, as the Emperor's laughter echoed all around. I know Sith probably measure on a different scale, but I'd call that more of a nightmare. It's just a nightmare, though. I'm still here. The rest too, far as I know. So don't sweat it. Not that there weren't rough patches. If you thought the Sith were treacherous before, you should have seen it after you and Mar disappeared. I didn't have much reason to stick around once you were gone. So I left them to their infighting before the Eternal Empire rolled in. I... hope you don't mind. You found safety. That's what's most important. There were some bumps along the way, but throwing in with Captain Shifty was one of my better moves. Don't tell him I said so. I should start warming up for this gig. We'll catch up again soon. I picked out a discreet vantage point near the sky. You're good to go. Better get in position. This is close enough, and 
There's the Gilded Star, just like I promised. Shinier. Gold plated and stealth ship don't exactly line up. Now we just have to hope Mommy Dearest remembers her daughter's birthday. I can kill you from here, Gold. Great, really getting into the spirit of your character, at least from what I hear. Shut up. We are approaching the checkpoint. No further communications are warranted until the bridge is under our control. Roger, break a leg, ladies. It's in their hands now. All we've got to do is wait. Once they open the way for us, all we have to do is get this bomb inside the vault. Assuming everything goes according to plan. But hey, if something has to go horribly wrong, now's the best time, for us anyway. I honestly can't tell if that's optimism. Oh sure, I'd be less than thrilled to have my perfect shot at ludicrous affluence botched by rank amateurs, but live to filch another day and all that. I am now in complete control of the Gilded Stars network. I will isolate the vessel's sentinels to the best of this system's ability. Showtime! Okay, I ought to be able to reach the vault mechanism along this route. Keep clearing a path for Galt, and I'll see you soon. I really, really hope they check for Minox. Are you sure those schematics were scaled in meters? I can hardly move. My last partner didn't complain nearly this much. Your last partner was crushed to death. And never once complained about it. Okay, vet, I'm here. Just give me a sec. Time's a factor. Hey, you want to cut through a foot of cortosis and steel while hanging upside down in a half meter crawl space? There! Jerk. Try it. The moment of truth. I've been rich, filthy rich, but nothing like this. Counting the zeros on a balance sheet can't even compare. There's just something magical about the real thing. I couldn't begin to put a number to all this. At a certain point, you just stop counting. It won't look nearly as impressive in a second, but it'll spend all the same. Do the honors. To lucrative partnerships. Extending umbilical. Seal is tight. All green. Airlock disengaged. Awaiting order for depressurization. Door is open. Commencing depressurization. Tank is filling. So far, so good. Take approximately 10 minutes, 17 seconds to siphon the space of that volume. Plenty of time to make our exit. Great. Let's blow this joint. I'm sure we've worn out our welcome. It is unlikely the detonation went unnoticed. After we vacate the bridge, I will no longer be able to maintain a complete lockdown. See? Perfectly justified acquisition. Come on, I want to try this thing out. Just scramble the systems as best you can and leg it to the tanker. We'll see you there. We're at capacity. Scorpio and Senya are on board. What's the situation? We're keeping them busy on our end, but I don't think we're any closer to reaching you. 
Scorpio, do you still have any access to the blast doors? Only through direct input. Great. Just bug out before anyone notices you buzzing around. We'll take the skyhook back down and meet you at the hideout. Play it cool. My guardian angel will handle anybody taking an unhealthy interest. It's not coming, is it? Oh no, it's coming. It's just not empty. Raymond, I can sense her presence. Time for plan B. What's plan B? Run and hope for a plan C. What about the escape pods? We're calling back the tanker to pick us up. Too slow, not to mention it's our only bargaining chip if we get caught, and I'd rather wind up caught than take your other suggestion. We'd never be seen again down in that murk. The skyhook's still the best option. It's just the matter of getting on. We have to go around. There is no around. There is out there. You want us to scale the exterior? Pretty much. Look, there's no time to stand here arguing, so I recommend lodging your complaints at a steady jog. Uh, it's not so bad. Just don't look down. Or consider your own mortality. Goodbye, Spewy. I'll never forget you. Okay, so, remember Plan C? You never actually got to Plan C, Gold. So Plan C is... Jump! Mother was here, again. She had the audacity to wear my face. And her punishment? Escaped. She knows I won't be bested the next time we meet. Ah, oh, empty threats all you've brought for me. I interrupted their little raid on the treasury. They couldn't have accomplished much in the time they were here. Perfect timing. I'm not the one who has a problem showing up when I'm supposed to. Jeez, how long are you planning to hold that over me? The rest of your life, naturally. Thanks for keeping my worst half out of too much trouble. It helped that you tempered my expectations accordingly. Singing my praises again? The lower octaves. Anyway, I think we've all had our fill of Vanden, and it's gonna get a lot less hospitable shortly, so... shall we? Let's get our haul back to Odessan. like coming home from a job well done, especially when you've ruined a huge jerk's day in the process. Couldn't agree more. Come to think of it, our plan was lacking in one department. An actual escape route? It was the scenic route. Can't argue with the view. No, the one thing missing was a way to see the look on Arkin's face when he got the news. That's a pretty big oversight, Gault. It's coming out of your cart. Let's not get carried away. We're talking a fringe benefit at best. Now, how about we get on with my favorite part and divvy up the loot? Already taken care of. You, Vet, and Dretch are already paid out. I took the liberty of skimming what you owe me off yours. Well, take all the fun out of it, why don't you? Your idea of fun is why your divvying privileges are still revoked. Just what did you do exactly? Ran out on me with the biggest score of our careers. 
and I regretted it ever since. Well, after the shine wore off. A little older, a little wiser, you know? Okay, maybe a lot older. It was a formative moment. The point is we're on to bigger and better things, like melting a mint down into an ocean of liquid happiness. Now, however you want to spend your cut is none of my business, but if you want to, say, triple it, I might have a little something in the works. This money isn't ours. I don't mind taking it from Arkin, but I want nothing to do with it. It does feel wrong to keep it. Our goal was to fund the Alliance, not personal gain. Who says it can't be both? You just need a little ambition. Or, you know, you could try giving. Maybe just once. See what you've been missing. My share is going towards buying back some of the artifacts stolen from my people. Freeing slaves. Giving Twi'laks a better place in the galaxy. Honestly, we've got way more than we need for operations. It'd be good to have a plan for the excess. Start putting together a plan to expand. Every credit we have needs to go towards overthrowing Arkin. I'll give you a rundown of the books as soon as we've got real numbers to work with. Make sure the ends justify the means. We're in no position to be proud. Necessity will ask us to consider much worse before this is all done. Wasted opportunity, chum, but I won't fault you for playing it safe under the circumstances. It appears our business is concluded. Oh, I don't know. I figure you'll be seeing me around. You've got a handy little outfit here. Besides, I wouldn't want Hilo to get lonely. <laughs> As if. Right now, I think we've earned a long night of not thinking about tomorrow. This stuff sells for more than most freighters. Grab some glasses and get to know what success tastes like. Commander, Major Jorgen and Kaleo just landed. They're in the docking bay. So much for celebrating. Go ahead, we'll be right behind. Total mission failure! We'll never get another shot at the target because of you! This is what happens when a criminal gets in the way of real soldiers! You're welcome! Next time I'll let the enemy kill you! We had them in a corner until you started tossing thermal detonators! I lost four good people because of your lack of discipline! If they were so good, why are they dead? I don't care what happened on Zakul. I'm just happy you two made it back in one piece. A lot of people weren't so lucky. That's on her. It wasn't a complete loss. I grabbed something on the way out. My fire team covered you. Yeah, yeah. Point is, we lifted the data core from a security console right outside that hyperwave relay station. It's not the key to the Gemini frequency, but it does contain a massive file archive all about those droids. I'll put Scorpio to work sifting through the information. See if there's anything to salvage from this fiasco. Whatever's in those files has to make up for the lives that were lost getting them. Nobody regrets those losses more than me, Commander. The casualties were unacceptable. It could have gone much worse, but we can't let this happen again. Kaleo disobeyed a direct order from you when she went after Major Jorgen. In the SIS, she'd be classified as a rogue agent and sanctioned accordingly. Do you have anything to say in your defense? You knew what I was when you hired me. I shouldn't have to apologize. It was a mistake to recruit you, Kaleo. The Alliance needs people it can trust. That isn't you. Go. Don't come back. Yeah? Well, I've been fired from better jobs than this. We can't just let her leave. She knows our location, our plans. She knows what will happen if she betrays us. We should get back to work.
I'll start with her fingertips and work my way up. Take one knuckle at a time, then her hands. Do you remember, Mother? Not what she is now. Who are the children? I remember her telling Father I was dangerous. How I had to be controlled. She always hated me. She never understood us. Oh, Father. She helped the Outlander steal our pretties. They took everything. Those things can be replaced. When all the worlds we've conquered find out what's happened, they'll think we're weak. Test us. I remain the greatest power the galaxy has ever seen. My enemies know what I'll do to them. If they cross me. Fear is always free. I will be generous with it. Good day, my lord. Where are the others? Theron is online from the Mistani sector. The rest are unavailable, on scouting or security detail. Are the ones you haven't banished? Kaleo was unpredictable. Discipline has to be enforced. I have additional information regarding the Gemini network that controls the Eternal Fleet. The network links mechanical captains inside the fleet's ships. Their security protocols cannot be directly subverted. Why not? Because the Gemini captains are based on me. You said Zakul took something from you. This is what you meant. This is what you've been looking for. My suspicions about Gemini brought me to Zakul. Now they are confirmed. I will not be imitated. And I will determine who is responsible. Based on what I have decoded, the Geminis are produced from a mold, a template. Gemini Prime. Why a physical template? My technology is not easily duplicated. The Gemini Prime is linked to a factory on the world of Darvanus. Retrieve the unit and I will unlock the secrets of the network and the fleet. We get the Eternal Fleet and you find out who's been copying you and how. Is that the deal? Yes. I know, Darvanis. One of the first worlds we conquered when the war started. A staging point into the wider galaxy. That factory builds droids, weapons, starships. It's a key resource, fortified accordingly. Fully automated defenses. I've seen it's like tunnels running kilometers deep. Too large for a strike team. Then we plan a full-scale assault. How close are we to assembling an army? We don't have nearly enough people here, but Theron... I've been securing military allies along the rim. There's a favor I can pull in. Rather not say more over the comm, but I can set a rendezvous with forces on Darvanus. You can take the factory and grab Gemini. I'd prefer if I knew who I was fighting with. Will your forces be enough? Can we trust them? They've got the skill and the firepower. As for trust, they won't stab us in the back, just shoot us in the face. Marvelous. I'll signal our allies. Any luck, they'll be on Darvanus before you. The rest of you, get the gravestone ready for combat. Once we have Gemini Prime, it'll be us against the fleet, one way or another.
where you're on the wrong planet. <laughs> the hot pleasure worlds are a dozen parsecs out. Shut up, Como. You're looking good for a dead man. Shea Vizsla. I wasn't expecting Mandalorians. We're what you got. Heard you need a factory pulverized. A dozen clans stand with Mandalore the Avenger. We're ready for blood, even if our enemies are built of metal and grease. Mandalore the Avenger? Rough few years. Eternal fleets kept us under siege on the Heart Worlds. I picked up the title along the way. When your spy boy offered a chance to hit back, I agreed. Been on defense too long. Then we fight together, Mandalore, against Zakul and the galaxy. We'll topple Arkan yet. Right now, I'd settle for one good victory. How have you deployed your troops around the factory? Rotating assault teams of 200 commandos each. Place is a fortress. Needs hammering before we go in. Next attack starts in five. Forward teams are in position to down the energy shield. You want to be useful? Capture the perimeter guns and retarget the factory. Torian! Mandalore. Torian's chief of Clan Gadara, and the best scout we've got. He'll show you the way. Guns are in Sector 9. Plenty of Skytroopers. Keep up. I'll try to protect you. Take me to the guns. We have a factory to conquer. Retercia me, Mandalore. Stay alive. Both of you. Report in, Verda. We're waiting to scrap in Sector 4. Plan join forces at the Outer Shield Perimeter. Is there no end to these abominable machines? Ha! We are their end! Bashar and a dozen others are dead, but we've reached the shield generators. Then maybe Torian and our new ally should stop dawdling, eh? Three more warriors dead, but this place resembles a junkyard. Torn! The generators! Detonation in ten seconds. The shields will go down. Maybe Torian will bother to take advantage of it. Guns hot. Ready to target droids and factory defenses. We have the shield generators down. Give the place a pounding. Where are you? Still inside the perimeter. The droids, they outflanked us. We couldn't withdraw. Understood. Those soldiers, they're inside the firing zone. Yes. Already dead. No honor in being beaten by machines. You've served with those people down there. You know what resources your army has. I can't make this decision. We're Mandalorian. There is no decision. Incoming! Better get back to base. Mandalore will be planning a new assault. The silly Mandalorians fire on their own people. I feel tingly. They crush themselves against us without remorse. You admire them? They amuse me. Are you smiling? I can never tell. We must answer this insult to the Eternal Empire, of course. Have the fleet burn them all to glass. We'll make a window from their remains. It'll be so pretty. Devonis can defend itself. All we have to do is watch the Mandalorians die. You're the Emperor. Severe damage to the inner ring of factory defenses. Plus, those shields are down. And our losses? 28 seasoned Mandalorian warriors. But how they took their foes with them. A thousand mindless, programmed machines lie in the dirt today. Oh, future generations will sing songs of our brother's sacrifice against the spawn of Production Line 15 Alpha. They're dead. No point mocking them. Not bad hunting out there. You're no Mandalorian, but you pulled your weight. 
Since when is it dishonorable for a Mandalorian to be beaten by a droid? I've seen clans fight machines before. Not like this. Not for years running. No disgrace in dying to a droid. No disgrace in falling off a cliff either. But we're Mandalorians, bred for true combat. We'll talk in the morning. Figure our next move when the troops are fresh. For tonight, we celebrate survival. Show us how an Aruti like you handles Mandalorian drink. Rough battle, probably a rough party. Not many outsiders celebrate with us. If we're fighting together, I should know who you are. Torian, leader of Clan Kadera. What does that mean? It means I'm the last here. We're many of us before Zakul. Fewer sense. I don't mind a good fight. Struggle, honor, pretty much the same. But I'm tired of friends dying. and Clan Baroya after the North Power Station and Fett to the South. That'll weaken the Sky Troopers for the final push. That should work if your troops are up to the task. Power Stations. What I'd give for an Imperial bunker to melt. Aaron's sniper units at the Zakul tactical post will outmaneuver the clans. Show me the location. I'll handle the droids and give you time to reach the Power Stations. You are going to hold off a battalion on your own? You're bold for an outsider, but not right. We win this, we march inside next. Good hunting.